Thanks for supporting the channel by clicking the links in the description box. And thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And now let's get into this conversation. Hey, what's up, everyone? Let's have a conversation about Vanessa Bryant and her mother, and the story that her mother is claiming that Vanessa Bryant kicked her out of her home and also repossessed her car. So Vanessa Bryant is the widow to Kobe Bryant. We know he was the NBA legend who unfortunately lost his life in a helicopter crash earlier this year along with their daughter Gianna Bryant. So Vanessa's mother Sophia Lane, she recently did an interview on a network where she claims she's been kicked out of the Bryant home and she claims that Vanessa not only told her to leave their home but she also repossessed her car. So her mother is saying and this is quoted, you need to leave my house and give me my car. Okay, so at the time of recording this conversation, we don't know what all was said in the interview. And of course, none of us were in the home with them. And to some people, this may sound absolutely shocking, okay? But a lot of information has come out since the death of Kobe Bryant with regards to just, you know, some things with his widow, Vanessa Bryant. And some people are just going to be completely protective of Vanessa. And that's, that's their right to do so. Sharing observations is not attacking. So don't come for me in my comment section just because you feel some type of way about Vanessa Bryant because I'm not here to attack her. And I'm also not here to just be completely soft-spoken and just patting her on her back if there is an issue that I see. And I did a, I did an, an episode many months ago when I observed some things at the memorial for Kobe Bryant. And although I had more people that were on the same point of view, I don't want to say on my side because it's not about taking sides, but they were more so seeing my point of view in the situation with regards to the memorial. some people that were just like not here for any type of opinion about it and and they just felt like I was jealous of her and wish that Kobe Bryant was my husband listen I could care less okay obviously nobody else was going to be Kobe Bryant's wife and I was never even into him or attracted to him in that way and who cares? I've been married for 22 years now, so just give me a freaking break with that stuff. So when people come with stupid comments like that, I either let them stay and not respond, or I respond, or I just delete them because this is my platform, and if I wanna share my thoughts and views on things as long as I am not defaming anyone or trashing anyone, I have the right to do so, and I'm doing it respectfully. But. What I wanted to say with regards to this situation, for some people, this may come as a shock. And no, we don't know the details behind everything. We don't know if she did something that was hurtful to the grandchildren or hurtful to Vanessa or anything like that. No, we don't know. But I just have a thing about honoring your mother and your father. That's just it. And when I discussed my views on the memorial, one of the things that I said was it disturbed me that Kobe Bryant's parents were not acknowledged. 
And again, I had people that were saying, well, maybe they didn't want to speak. I didn't say that they had to speak. I said that they were not acknowledged. And so hearing a story like this, for some people, it may be a shock, but for others, it's really not a big surprise because I also am a huge believer in that you reap what you sow. And the way that Kobe Bryant's parents were treated, not just at the memorial, but just in the years where they were estranged, where some people feel that he had the right to not speak to his parents and be estranged from them because they sold some items at a an auction, which from the reporting, if anyone really digs deep and does some research, they were storing those items. They had the right to, and he gave them the right to sell some things. So just from those backstories, to me, it sounds more like Vanessa had definitely a lot more control in the relationship and in these situations than a lot of people may really realize. So I do believe that she was more so that that gate and that separation between Kobe Bryant and his parents. I don't think it was just about them selling some things. And no, I don't believe that they stole anything. Kobe Bryant never said, if you read his things, if you read his statements, and if you listen to interviews that he did regarding that situation, which I have read and seen, he never said his parents stole his things. He said they sold some memorabilia. Stealing and selling are two completely different things. So some people, when they say that, they don't have the facts straight. And so the parents, they were just trying to keep the peace with the situation. So they did apologize, but they love their son. They, that, that kid, that man, he had the life and lifestyle that a lot of, a lot of children would never have. And he was able to give his wife now widow a life and lifestyle that she would have never had if she was not with him. And so even if she wasn't the main reason why there was a division between his parents and himself, she could have been that glue that brought them closer together to seal that relationship because it is an important one to have. So anybody that can kick their mom to the curb could care less about their in-laws. And I'm just being real with that. I'm not gonna make this a very long episode, but we will find out more after the full interview. The full interview is supposed to air on Monday afternoon of September the 21st, so we shall see. But there hasn't been any statement or any word that's been released from Vanessa Bryant or her representatives regarding her mother's claims. Some people may say it's tacky. She shouldn't go to the media with it. That's neither here nor there. It's Is it true? And although I'm not a big fan of her mother because I also feel that her mother being a mother of a child, Vanessa Bryant, she should also have been someone that had more of a say with, you know, Kobe, your parents, you only, you only have one mother and one father. They were great parents to you growing up. You should try to, you know, mend those fences and, and get those bonds tighter because you never know when it'll be their last day. And unfortunately, he left this earth and perished before they did. And no parent wants to bury their children, but unfortunately, they had to do so. But, you know, from the reports, he was able to take care of her mother for many years. So now that Kobe Bryant is no longer here, who knows what the situation was like. But maybe we'll find out more about it. Maybe we won't. Do I believe the claims are far-fetched? I don't. Is it appropriate to bring it to the press? Maybe not, but I don't think that she would come to the press and lie about something like that, but it's possible, anything is. But again, like I said, for some this may be shocking and then for some it's really not surprising. But we will find out more possibly, but you guys, in the meantime, just from the information that we have right now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think that 
Vanessa Bryant's mother is going to do an interview and just outright lie on her daughter? Or do you feel that she's doing this because she doesn't feel that she has any other option? 